Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Property Roundtable with myself, Rama and Jackie, value adding to your journey in buying or selling a land property in Singapore. So today we're going to talk about one piece of hot news. Um, this hot news is maybe something that you may have read or you may have missed, so we're going to share with you. Mm. So, Maristella High, the st- headline, uh, they put, uh, this one is like Shade Times, okay. Maristella High to take in girls at primary school level. Mm. So, we all know that Maristella has has be, always been one of the popular schools that people look towards when mm. buying property around that area. Popular mm. boys' school. Popular boys', boys school. school. Yeah. Okay, boys' school. Mm. So, where is Maristella? So, Maristella actually is located along Bali, mm. Bali Road. And Bali Road sits, and Maristella sits uh, on the cups of one of the biggest HDB estates in Singapore, which is the new HDB estate, which mm. is Bidadari. Oh, yeah. Bidadari. Yeah. So Bidadari, a lot of uh, young uh, couples mm. are there. Whilst they are there, they, they, they buy the BTO, then they wait five years. Then the five years, uh, they get pregnant. Then after they move in, then their baby <laughs> come out. Then they say, okay. Wow, hey, okay. Could, could it really... Could, could, it, one girl. <laughs> could it be the reason... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So maybe after that, maybe... Oh, sorry, sorry. What do you no, mean? Like, you, like, you have the statistics of... No, no, no. We don't yeah. have it. We're yeah. just saying that, for example, <laughs> for example, they, they move into the flat already, then they, they're pregnant. Uh. Then they want the, the baby come out girl, then they say, oh, it's it's because it's Maristella it's is like one click, right? Uh. But now, mm. Maristella, between 2027 to 2029, they're going to rebuild. Mm-hmm. And after which, they're going to change it to a co-ed school. Mm. Mm. Meaning now, right, boys and girls will become potential to enter Maristella High, mm. which will definitely challenge their... What's their motto? Uh? They had something to do with uh, what gentleman one. Yeah, gentleman, gentleman. Maristella... Uh, what's that? What's that line? Uh? Uh, wait, wait, I know, I know. Maris gentleman. Yes, Maris gentleman. Uh, they're old school. Yes. It, it del- no, no, no. This one is their motto. That one. Uh, the, eh? No. Uh, the uh. concept of a Maris gentleman will now be a gentlewoman <laughs> as well. So why we bring this episode up is not just talking about the home prices, the impact around the area, which Maristella actually sits in the middle of two districts, mm-hmm. which is mm. District 19, namely the Bartley Rice and the Haosan uh, mm-hmm. area, mm-hmm. as well as Macpherson area, which is District, District 13. 13. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So this school has been the traditional uh, stronghold in terms of attracting like alumni, mm-hmm. as well as people who are looking to put their kids in Maristella mm-hmm. High School. Mm-hmm. But the news that brings that they are co-ed, right? Now we're going to discuss this concept of, for example, when there's a news like that, right? They changes the gender. Mm-hmm. of the school from singular gender to double, right? Mm. How do you think that changes perspective of that area? Rama, what do you think? This particular news. And by the way, the, 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 the principal surname called Boy, leh. Mr. <laughs> Boy. Wow, he really espoused the Maristella High School. Uh, yeah. Really. Boy <laughs> Ing Sing. Okay. Mr. Boy. Yeah. But now so, got more than boy. Okay. I mean, on a lighter note, lah, mm. but... It's what? not seriously. His name is Mister Boy Wan, bro. His written name Boy Ing Sing. Do you want to shout out to the principal, Mister Boys? Okay, yeah. okay, can. So now, now again on a lighter note, but also it's serious thing. You mm. see, you don't know what baby will come. Uh. Yeah, I mean, of right. course, of course, true, true. Yeah, I so think, yeah, cannot be. You live around here, then yeah. you can only expect to have boys, ma. I Correct. mean, if you want to go to this school. But maybe la. they have boy read anyway. Move, move so there. for all these people, it's a beautiful news. La. Yes. Uh, and Correct. those who are aspiring to have kids. Yes. You know, uh, when, when is this school starting? To renovate uh, 20? 2027 to 2029 is the works. Uh, then 2030, they will probably the kick off. La. Uh, so so that's about year, one years from now. Yes. Uh, only six, 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 only years, six uh. years. Uh. Hey, 2030 uh. is also a significant year uh. for this area because... The Paya Lebar Air Base, the, uh, they're being relocated, right? Mm. And then the new township plan, right, mm. will probably kick off in 2030 as well. Mm. So there's two significant pieces of news oh, for this area. Transformation double. And Paya Lebar Air Base uh, is really just off a little bit of Bali, which mm. is probably uh, just at the end of Upper Paya Lebar, mm-hmm. and then you where the Paya Lebar mm. uh, Air Base is around. Yeah. So yes. 
so, so you were saying that people cannot they don't know the boy or girl lah so it's all about forward planning lah yeah. so now you know it's 2024 then 2036 yes. years lah so if yes. you start now the planning right yes. so we just nice for primary one lah bro <laughs> <laughs> okay lah <laughs> so, so, so correct so so in that when you make that comment right you're pro- you're possibly saying that if someone is in the process of making plans let's say okay assume that they are a Maristella alumni uh. they perhaps already would have um, some priority yeah. in, in terms mm. of the first mm. phase, right? Mm. But if let's say I'm an alumni, then I want to double down. Uh-huh. So you're saying that they will start planning now and they should start parking themselves nearby? No need my alumni, what? But what if, right, I have one boy and one girl. Now I want to double confirm. I alumni also... So maybe they... they but alumni plus one click is <clears> more... <throat> Oh, you, it's you better have, than you have a higher chance yeah. than just alumni. Maris Stella, one click yeah. is um, alumni and one click is higher chance, ma. Yeah. So what you're trying to tell me is, it's, if they really, if they really think that way, lah, uh, then their family planning will be really like on point one, lah. They cannot <laughs> do anything right no now. La. No, I mean, I'm just saying more yeah. like now with this gender uh change, right? Yeah. It does mean that there's a lot more opportunity for the people around that area when mm. it comes to the num- the buyers, right? Yeah. Mm. Because the buyers will now also, let's say, I have mm. one buy, one girl. Mm-hmm. Then I can dovetail. Yeah. Then I will probably be very entrenched in the area for the next, say, 10 years. Yep. It's definitely a piece of good news. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It, yep. Right? Surely. Especially for those houses that mm. located within the, the 1 km kit. radius of yes. uh, Marista mm. High School. Yes, yes. So... I'm very sure that these news will somehow or rather affect the prices a little bit. Yeah. So from a from a very macro angle, right? When such news happens that there's a change in agenda, mm-hmm. do we then also is it is it correct and logical to say that it increases your pool of school hunt, primary school one click hunters from sh- from sure. one gender to two? For sure. Because yeah. the pool of buyer increases now, you open to the other. You you have a 50% more. Yeah. Right? But yeah. if you look at the true overlap of where the ones who want the super, super confirm, confirm mm. which area they die, die will gonna both, right? Mm-hmm. There's only one area, which is the Haosan area. Mm. Why? Mm. Because they sit squarely one click within Maristella High, which is going to be co-ed yep. in six years time, as yep. well as Paya Lebar Methodist Girls Primary School. Yeah. Within one click as well. Mm-hmm. So Even then Sida, Sida Girls. Sida Primary will be uh, a bit further down. So it's not within one click. Mm, Bartley uh. got different area. But oh, Hausan time, is squarely time. in. <clears throat> Bartley Rise is one click to Maris, but mm. outside of uh, Paya Lebar Methodist Girls. Mm-hmm. But Sida Primary, one click. Mm. So this one click thing, right, is now the game change also. Because mm. if schools ever become co-ed, right? Mm. I think for the homeowners around there, it could be a potential, I wouldn't say windfall at this moment. I would say uh, your- It's a positive news. Of buyer, yeah, it's yeah, a positive news. Of buyer increases. It's a good news. It's definitely yeah. a good news. Yeah. So in that in that regard, right? Mm. How do you think the sellers will be taking this news? Eh? Sellers. <laughs> today, ah, yesterday, wake up in the morning, see this news. Eh, today, wake up in the morning, see this news. Then suddenly, what's the idea? Do you think- that the prices around this area would then, the expectations would increase. Maybe they, they, they will inform the agents, you know, like prep them up. Mm. Hey, next time when the buyer come in, you ask them how many kids they have. <laughs> you know? yeah. Possibly, possibly. Uh, I think then the profile of the buyers would definitely also change. La. I think uh, everything follows a sequence. La. I mean, yeah. no doubt that the news have been announced today. Mm-hmm. Um. The, the demand part will need to come in first. Mm. Yeah. Right? So, it won't be, so I think not immediate impact. La. It will not be immediate. La. But then again, it literally released the restriction. Mm. Now without this restriction, right? It, it opened up to the buyer who have a girl yeah. that is one year old now. Yes. That allow them to explore this area. No? Yeah, because if you're a Marie Stella alumni, but yeah. you only have a daughter, right? Mm. Yeah. Now you, you what lah? You alumni, then you girl so in that in that category yeah yeah yeah, yeah la, but depend like what you say the girl has to be 
later lah. Yeah, not now no, 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 no. One, one year, year can now because it's six year ma. Two zero three zero. No, yeah. Yeah. Now it's two zero two four Suddenly ma. Suddenly yeah. one is seven Suddenly years construction old ma. delay lah, bro. Hey. <laughs> then you got COVID lah. <laughs> la, la, anything can happen, you know. Cannot plan to enjoy. Uh, that's why. <laughs> no, but but that but that also being said, right? What we're just trying to also bring up and discuss, right? Is mm. does a change in the gender? Uh, matter as much the real estate in the school uh, admission values mm. around there. I think moving forward, I mean the future, yes. But I think let's not. I mean jokes aside, like yeah. we, we do the you know mathematics, you know to see mm. you know okay, we're one year old now and everything. But I think more than that, I think for the future, uh, it's definitely a bonus, lah. Mm. Definitely, mm. yeah. Okay, so that being said, it's a bonus, lah. Mm-hmm. But. Now the next question, as we just now broadly discuss, is will the values of the property around there have an immediate impact? So that depends on the marketing agent how it's going to angle the whole sales <laughs> process, and you know we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I think then if the value is going to be a long, not it doesn't happen the value now, right? Mm. Then should the I mean just a cheeky question? Then should the seller sell now? Or sell later, or sell the potential now. Hey, your house there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah we will uh, one My house there, mm. la, but not selling. La. <laughs> never say never. Within one click, within one click. Uh, 50 yes. million? Yeah. <laughs> within one click. Within is, one is, click. is this why we're doing this topic? <laughs> no. I, di- I, I didn't do this topic because of that, but uh, it was really uh, an immediate piece of news that a few of my uh, friends and clients actually sent me this because. I had uh, coincidentally sent- placed uh, one or two of my clients with oh, one already, click of Maris. Bro, you already know this news. Already. I didn't know lah, bro. <laughs> I know I swearing in on the 15th of May already, bro. Uh, how I know, bro? Are you, <laughs> are you a Mary's uh, gentleman? No. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm a Tao Nan Koet. Oh, yeah. yes. I'm a Tao Nan Koet. So to me, it has never been of a problem. But I ever had this case where I had a client he was staying um, around the Casherina area. Mm. So he mm. was actually gunning for IJ, is it St. Nick's? St. Nick's. Saint Nick's. Yeah. Saint Nick's. Mm. But then the, the, the wife gave birth to twins. Then it became a boy and a girl, two girls and one oh. boy. Mm. So he had, he had done out a place quite nice, but within a couple of years, it sold out. And then he decided to move towards the other alumni, which was... Uh, for the boy. La. Nanyang. Mm. Okay. So that being said... Uh, we do see cases where parents tend to shift their home ground mm. so based many on time. school. So mm. many times. Yeah, based on school. Mm. So therefore, I think this is also not the first news of a uh, announcement of a new co-ed, right? Mm. Oh, there was one previously. Mm. Yeah. Uh, ACS primary. Yeah. yeah. We also uh, announced into a, uh, also a co-ed if we are not wrong. Yeah. So I think given that now one, maybe one is news, two is probably uh, a pattern, three is a trend. So mm-hmm. maybe moving forward, maybe singular gender schools may then end up as co-eds. And I think that obviously to all the homeowners, regardless you're landed or a HDB or mm. condo, or condo la, yeah. I think such news may, uh, it depends on when the news comes and mm-hmm. it depends on who gets affected first. But uh, it could bring some new buyers into areas of Singapore that previously mm. they were not gunning for. Yep. 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 So in that, in, in that uh, sense, right, um, at Property Roundtable, if you have a very more macro view and a very long view, like usually what we do have, right? Mm-hmm. Is that perhaps if now you are buying a home, that if school is not your main concern, mm. but you want the school as an insurance, then perhaps such news would then shift your mindsets towards looking at certain areas in Singapore. Mm. Not with sending uh, Maristella School, uh, is at the doorstep of Bartley MRT. Yeah. Notwithstanding that Bartley Road, right, is an arterial road that actually links all the way from Tampanese, Pasiris, all the way AYE. To, uh. Yeah, towards all the way, if you drive straight all the way, right, you hit like West Coast. Normanton Park. Yes. Mm. Notwithstanding halfway, right, you turn left, you go into city. Mm. Yeah, notwithstanding, notwithstanding, right, that along the way, right, there are quite a number of housing mm. options as well. No ERP also, bro. Yeah. So therefore, 
in this uh, piece of news, what we want to share is for people to have a more open mind towards buying places where you've never previously explored yep. before. Correct. So if you're one of those buyers that are looking for ideas on how to uh, take from certain news and then execute a certain strategy, right? Here at Property Roundtable, we tend to think out of the box. And our duration of how we see things into the future is quite far. So if you want to have more certainty and more comfort in your decisions about whether buying this landed home is a good investment as well as a good home to be in, right? Perhaps you can look for us. Now, the second group, which mm. are the sellers. Mm. So just now I asked a question to my teammates, right? As to whether the value impact is immediate. Mm. And Jackie's answer was not that immediate. Mm. All right. Rama? Bro, it'll be part of my deck. Part of your deck? Mm. What deck? If I'm selling. La. Oh, okay, okay. You'll be part of your deck. That means you'll be selling. Presentation deck. Presentation yeah, you'll deck. be selling the potential. Yeah. Mm. But another thing to note also is that why I ask whether the value is of an immediate impact, right? It's because if today, right, you're a seller in this place and you take the news instantly and you're trying to mark up your, your pricing, right? Mm. Unfortunately, I don't think you are able to extract the maximum value out of the news immediately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you are trading out within this area into something bigger, perhaps you can take that as a potential to trade up Mm -hmm. take that opportunity to buy something maybe sell the smaller one as mm -hmm. you know the house and the Kimoi area right mm -hmm. the houses there typically are not your standard 1600 more uh, smallish yeah one. all yeah. the smallish yeah. uh, ones right yeah you can take the opportunity maybe to trade up and if you are in those condos around mm -hmm. there maybe you can take the opportunity to I, trade up I also see something on the map yeah yep. okay um, of course the Gurkha <laughs> Contingent is there Why, for the, a long time. The safety la. good. La. <laughs> <laughs> they have been there for the longest time, bro. Yeah. Been there for the longest so, time. So, I mean, looking at this landscape, la, yeah. and looking at what has happened to all our official buildings, la, yeah. uh, they've all gone from central location to yeah. the outskirts. Yeah. I don't know whether this group of people will be spared la, in the future. Or oh, whether looking at the, there, even the airport moving, oh, you know, yeah. airbase moving. Yeah. I don't know. And this restricted area is sitting right in the center of mm. all these housing estates. You know, yeah. I yeah. I don't know. I just want to leave it here in this video yeah. that I foresee yeah. they may also be moved. Yeah. So mm. when that happens, ultimately, um, there have been a lot of plans in regard to areas surrounding Biradari. Mm. In fact, one of the arterial roads that uh, was supposed to alleviate traffic between Bartley and Upper Serangoon, as you mm. know, both these roads do uh, carry a lot of uh, true traffic from mm. different parts of the island <clears throat> um, uh, to other places. Yep. So there's been also a piece of news a couple of weeks back in regard to uh, this road that's punching through the Bidadari estate mm. and why there was a delay because of the elevation of the road levels in this mm -hmm. area. So as you can see, right, that also took quite some time into fruition and the amount of effort to do that, right, mm -hmm. obviously speaks volumes of what the government is trying to do to provide a higher quality living in a newer estate mm. to provide that traffic flow because whenever you bring new people into certain areas, right, you mm. need that traffic uh, node to be able to spread the traffic around as well. Mm. So with that plus the, this news, right, it also does seem to me that perhaps from a community support angle, right, that mm -hmm. they want to provide more opportun equal opportunities to mm -hmm. people who want to be in that school mm -hmm. or maybe even in other for other areas yep. uh, in future as well. Because as we put more and more people, we increase the density as the population steps up to a higher level, right? Mm. I think there should be more equal opportunities. Mm -hmm. And obviously, whoever gets the news first, mm. wins first. Lah. So, so Javi, yeah. yeah. As a future seller in that area, <laughs> yes, in that area, yes. Um, would you think that you should be selling now or you should be selling later? I I can Why, answer. Bro? I can answer this question in two parts. Okay. The first part is, if I am, uh, I would not choose to sell my property currently only because, uh, it's a home. Okay. It's not. Just an investment. Okay. If yeah. it's an investment, possibly I would consider selling it. Now, of course, we will upsell 
uh, the property in whatever news there is, like, be mm. it the Pai Lebar Airbase or the school. Mm. SSD over. Uh, almost, almost yeah. over. Mm. Two is, if I were an investor, I would probably trade up. That means I will sell out my place and get something maybe bigger. Uh, uh, doesn't have to be bigger house. Bro, he's very consistent. <laughs> uh, he said the same thing. <laughs> bigger land. Uh, bigger, no need to be bigger house, but bigger land, perhaps. Mm. Because in one of our previous episodes, we actually also shared with people about accumulating square foot of mm. land. Yeah. So, but let's not kid ourselves. Uh, one of our viewers recently had commented in the previous one or two videos that he feels that the market is toppish. He don't see the market moving forward. But I, but we also had candidly replied that perhaps the idea that you want to put your money elsewhere that it can work better for you, tax free, how many percent return, was from the cash proceeds mm. that he had made from an investment in real estate, mm. and he actually had agreed that actually the money that he's investing now came mm -hmm. from his profits from his real estate investments. So therefore, the dilemma of where you put your money, right? it's not as important of whether you have any money to have a dilemma. Mm -hmm. So I think what we're, what we're trying to do is perhaps other parts of the your investments, mm. uh, we are not licensed nor... I mean, we can have our personal opinions. We're not licensed to sell. Mm. Yeah. But at least for real estate, we are licensed to sell and we can take care of that portion of your portfolio for you to, to do uh, more stuff on that. So therefore, for those who are still keen on generating that pot of gold for mm. you to be able to then create a passive income or buy your retirement home of which we just saw one listing that is listed in saying is it Anchorville? Mm. Anchorville mm. flat <laughs> jumbo asking for two million dollars <laughs> and in a few episodes ago I have mentioned once in one episode and once in another episode that when that day comes, right, I think it's freaking mad. But I have got to eat my own words because there's actually more and more aggressive sellers out there who are guarding for $2 million. But Sengkang. For their jumbo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sengkang, but it's rare. It's, it's jumbo. jumbo. It's jumbo. It's two five room Correct. combined in one. Wow. Correct. Yeah. So that being said, are we now looking at a new uh, price point towards price expectations of sellers. Buyers, let's put aside. Mm -hmm. Because the sellers of such places like Executive Medicine or Jumbo, right? There's only that many, right? Yep. Government don't build anymore, ma. Yep. Yep. So this group of sellers, right? Maybe have their own group thing and then they say, that hey, let's all go for it, right? Mm. Two million. The buyers will be price takers in a way or they keep offering until the seller says, okay. But definitely the trend is up. Mm. Up trend, ma. But if the big size, rare, public housing people with a low lease hole, right, mm -hmm. is gunning for such prices, right? Then why wouldn't the landed sellers that have a smaller quantum and entry level, right, homes, right, be gunning for a higher price? Free hole. Yes. So in that logic, right, if sellers' expectations are the same and the inventory also is limited and rare, right, if more and more people continue to test the limits of people as price acceptance, right? Mm -hmm. Then I would say that the direction of the market could be that unless policy impacts. Because HDB also a restricted product. Right? Yeah. Frontal also cannot yeah. buy. Yeah. Lender also restricted product. Frontal mm -hmm. also cannot buy. Yeah. So if we're talking about the same pot of people, of course you say, well, Harvey, you don't talk la. $2 million and $4 million is very different. Mm -hmm. Say true. But what's not to say the jumbo flat guy sell for two million, go and buy the landed for four million? Eh? Yep. <laughs> you also possible, ma. So in that sense, uh today's episode, we just thought that this piece of news is once again to try to trigger some thought processes and change your perspective towards uh landed home segment in Singapore mm -hmm. in 2024, so that we want to display our ability to see certain angles of the market that perhaps the market hasn't spoken of before. And if you feel that our points make logical sense and you want to discuss with us further on how to extract the maximum value in selling your place or increase your investment potential in buying a landed home in Singapore, there's a WhatsApp form below. Feel free to put in your details and also we will come back to you. Mm, so yeah. in summary, Jackie, do you think this co-ed school thing will continue? Like new more and more schools will be like that? You guess? Uh? It, it will. Uh. 
Because to, to serve the nation, mm. as I see those new townships that's forming up. You see, mm. for ACS primary to go into Tengah, Tengah is a yeah, relatively yeah. new town. Yeah. Mm. Then for this Mary to They take also the went Kowai. to the Kowai, right? Yeah, they went, they went, yeah. they went mm-hmm. to Kowai. Also, coincidentally, it's also 2030. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 2030. So same thing with Maristara. Hey, it's so also one, in the new town. One is one of two is pattern. Then wait for the third one is yeah. a trend. <laughs> la. mm. So, okay. So, yeah, you're right. You pointed it out. So potentially. Mm. So Rama, you also, do you also feel that this will be something that will be more and more? Uh, I don't know. I don't know about my feeling, uh, bro, but I would love to hear from the marriage gentleman uh, mm. yes. in the comment session and the old boys. Actually, oh, I know yeah, quite yeah. a lot of marriage, marriage gentlemen. Yeah. Because when I was in junior college, right? I always, I always hang out with all the Maris Stella boys. Mm. So I think they will surely have something to say, but I think mm-hmm. they're also happy. La. So because some of them have daughters, or they're trying to have a daughter, I don't know. Mm-hmm. So good luck and good news for them. So thank you very much for watching another episode uh, of Property Roundtable. If you find any news out there that you find interesting that you have read about, right? feel free to share with us and maybe we can have a uh, one or two episodes. I mean, we'll select uh, of which news or topics right that seem interesting and whether we can spot any angles in that news that perhaps you may find interesting and perhaps could increase your potential to um, acquire the right mm. landed property in Singapore. Yep. So feel free to share that with us. Okay, uh, see you in our next episode. Thank you. <laughs>